In this video, we're going to continue working with value problems as we set up systems of equations to solve a situation. Again, the pattern's going to be exactly the same. It's going to be very important. We start by defining the variables. We need to know what everything represents. If I see an x or a q or a p, what does that represent? And then as we set up an equation, we need to make sure the equations are completely separate. One equation for the number of coins we're working with, or the number of tickets, or whatever we're working with, and one equation for the value that's assigned to each of those things. So for example, if Scott's got 225 made up of quarters and dimes, and there are 12 coins, how many of each does he have? We see he's working with quarters and dimes. So let's define our variables. Let's pick q for quarters, the number of quarters, and d for dimes, or the number of dimes. And then we notice, we're told that he has, in the first sentence, 225 total. Well, that's the value, so let's make an equation for the value. For each quarter, we get a value of 25 cents. For each dime, we get a value of 10 cents. And to get the total value, we add those together, and that's going to equal the 225. Again, notice I put the 225 in cents because 10 and 25 are also in cents, always being consistent. We're also told there's a total of 12 coins, a total of 12 coins. So if we take quarters and dimes together, combine the number of each, there's a total of 12 coins there. Notice that has nothing to do with a quarter being 25 cents or a dime being 10 cents. What we're told is the number of quarters and the number of dimes together makes 12 total coins. Now we're ready to solve this system. Notice it's set up almost ready to solve by elimination, addition. We need to get opposites in front of one of the variables. It'd be really easy to get 10 and negative 10 in front of the dime. So let's do that. Let's multiply the second equation by negative 10. So the first equation is still 25q plus 10d equals 225. The second equation, multiplying by 10, gives us negative 10q, negative 10d equals negative 120. And so when we combine, the dime subtracting out gives us 15 quarters is equal to 105. Divide both sides by 15, and we get the number of quarters is equal to 7. We now know there are 7 quarters. I'll put my solution over here in the corner. Because we still need to know the number of dimes, and how we're going to get that is we need to go back, because we used elimination to one of our original equations, and it doesn't matter which, the second equation looks much simpler, though. q plus d, 7 plus the dimes is equal to 12. Well, we can quickly solve that by subtracting 7 from both sides, and we find out the number of dimes is equal to 5. So we have 5 dimes, and 7 quarters, t for a total of 12 coins of a value of 225. Let's try another example, defining the variables and setting up two equations, one for the value and one for the number. Here we've got a bunch of people attending a concert, 105 of them, 250 for an adult ticket, 175 for a child ticket, and total receipts were 228. How many children and adults went to the concert? Well, what are we working with here? We're working with adults and children. That's what we want to know. We want to know A, or the number of adults, and C, the number of children. So when we are told in this first part that 105 people attended, that's when we combine the adults and the children together. There's 105 people. 
So we take the number of adults and the number of children, we add that together, and that should tell us the number of people, 105 of them. We're also given a little bit of information that a child cost 175. Let me do that in a different color. Children cost 175, adults cost 250, and total receipts was 228. That tells us what values assigned to each variable. An adult has a value at the concert of 250. I'm going to write 2.5. A child at the concert has a value of 175 or 1 1.75. And when we add those values together, the total amount of money that came in for the concert was 228. Again, we are all set up to use elimination or addition because everything's lined up, ready to go. Let's multiply the first equation by negative 1.75. That way, the c's will eliminate. We could have multiplied by negative 2.5. There's no reason we had to pick on the children, but that's what we'll do. We'll pick on the children. So the first equation becomes negative 1.75a, negative 1.75c, equals 105 times 1.75 is negative 183.75. And then the adults are 2.5 in the second equation, plus 1.75c equals 228. And we're ready to add those together because the children will subtract out. And we get 1.75 and 2.5. It's going to give us 0.75a equals 228 minus 183.75, 44.25. Quickly get a alone by dividing by 0.75. And a, the number of adults, is 59. We have 59 adults. Sticking it in the corner here. We still need to know the number of children, so we go back to our original equations. We can use either equation, but the first equation looks much simpler. a plus c equals 105, a is 59, we know, plus c equals 105, and we quickly subtract 59 from both sides to find out c is 46. There are 46 children. 46 children and 59 adults, 105 people total. Total receipts were $228.